in order to perform the infusion test with the liquid guard, you need the liquid seven machine and a certain tube set which is suitable for infusion test. After unpacking the disposable set, you will find the ECG electrode, the TUI needle, the complete tube set with the pressure sensor housing, the four-way stopcock, the two-way stopcock and the spike. In order to mount the tube set into the machine, open the cover clap, attach the first connector, press the button and let the machine mount the tube set itself. Close the cover clap. Let's do the same in detail. Open the cover clap, insert the first connector and press, press the button. Insert the second connector, close the cover clap. In order to flush the tube set, connect the spike to a container of saline solution until water runs out of the four-way stopcock. Make sure there's no air in the tube set anymore. Prick the patient with a needle. Wait till CSF runs out of the needle and then connect the liquid tube set to the needle. Yes. It may happen that the tube is too short. In this situation, use an extension of maximum 30 centimeters. Make sure there's no air inside the extension. Then, connect the pressure sensors housing to the patient at the height where you prick the patient. The easiest way is to follow the instructions given on the machine. First step is attach the ECG electrode, which we already done. Go to the second step. Insert the tube set into the pump. We already done this. Connect the sensor cable to the device. We've already done this. Connect the spike to container with saline solution. We've already done this. Fill the tube set until it's completely full. We've done this. Puncture the patient. We've done this. Connect the cannula and tubing. Done. Attach the pressure sensor to the patient. Done. Set flow rate, e.g. 120 mils per hour. Set the flow rate by pressing the VSET button. Adjust the flow rate to a suitable value. 120 mils per hour is a good value. Next step. Adjust P start. P start is the lower green line which is the pressure the patient has during we do not infuse anything. Means let the patient lay flat on the stretcher and monitor the pressure. After some time, the pressure didn't change anymore because the patient's length stable and we did not manipulate anymore. At the moment you know the pressure, you level the P-start, the lower green line, to that certain value. Let's move on to the next step. Step 11. When the plateau is reached, we are done. The plateau is the upper green line, which we can adjust at any time. We press the pause button to start. The machine will now start the infusion and the pressure will rise. The infusion test is now running since some time. We can adjust the alarm borders in order to get notice on any high pressure situation. We can adjust the low pressure alarm border to get notice anything happens causing low pressure. During the infusion test is running, we will experience that there is a mean pressure which is some kind of stable. We will have some higher and lower pressure peaks, but the mean pressure 
is stable somewhere, in this situation I would adjust the mean pressure at a level of around about 30 millimeters of mercury. By leveling this upper green line to the mean pressure, we get the ROF value computed automatically. The ROF value is the result of the infusion test. If the ROF value is higher than a certain value, the possibility is high that this patient is suffering from NPH. The infusion test is finished when you do not experience any bigger changes anymore. You can stop the infusion test by pressing the play button. The machine is now in pause mode. You can now disconnect from the patient